you want to travel between Panama and Colombia, it's really not possible to travel by land because in between the two countries, there is no road, only jungle. The area is known as the Darien Gap and is said to be one of the world's most dangerous places that you can cross. So unless you're someone like bold and bankrupt, then the two remaining options you have is going by plane or boat. The pros of choosing the plane is that it's cheaper and of course faster. But if you choose to go by boat, you are in for a once in a lifetime experience. That's why we decided to embark on a five day long journey on the wild card sailing boat together with other travelers. This boat journey takes you through the stunning and mostly untouched Caribbean islands of San Blas. True paradise if you ask me. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Today or tonight starts a very very exciting journey. I am currently in Cartagena, Colombia and today we are starting our five night long sailing trip to Panama. The next five six days we're going to be spending on a sailing boat and we're going to be passing by the beautiful San Blas Islands on the way which are these beautiful Caribbean islands that belong to Panama and yeah I'm super excited I'm not even sure like what to expect we're about to get on board the boat soon I'm currently at the port here in Cartagena and yeah tonight we'll be having our first night on the boat which is very very exciting so yeah welcome on this journey embarking on a sailing boat from Colombia to Panama we've now gotten on the boat and before getting on there's police checking through your bags we have just been assigned our beds and it's not a lot of room this bed is for two people so yeah especially by the feet it's quite tight so I guess we're gonna be kicking each other all night long and getting up and down from here is also not the easiest so I hope I'm not gonna get seasick or something because it's gonna take me a while to get down from here so starts the sailing adventure probably like the least exciting day because today we're going to just be on open seas all day I thought now after breakfast I'll give you guys a little tour of this boat it's not the easiest thing to do though because <laughs> it is quite wavy I am now in like our room I already showed you guys this but this is our really tiny two-person bed and then underneath there is a one-person bed we got a bit unlucky because we are right in the front as well so we feel the waves the most and for some reason we don't have any stairs next to us is another similar bed but they do have stairs then here we have some one person beds there's some storage space and over here we have one of the i think two toilets looks like this it's uh, quite spacious but not so easy <laughs> For showering we have some separate thing or place but they said we are not gonna shower for the first one or two days that it's not necessary oh um no shower today at least let me try and close this now whoa then over here we have some more beds these ones are a bit bigger but they are in the middle of everything so everyone walks through here so it's maybe not so private over here we have more beds, quite a lot of more beds and also another bathroom but there's some people getting changed and stuff so I'm not gonna go inside there now then over here we have like the kitchen <laughs> and some of our crew here's where our food will be made here is the backside of the boat in the front is where everyone's actually chilling basically whoa you have to always hold on to something here that's very important and yeah that's pretty much it it's not a very big boat we are like 20 something people on board including the staff this is our home now for the next five days la 
lunch has been served. We have some pasta. Looks good. <laughs> Every time. Morning. Today starts day number two on this boat. Over there we can actually see land. I think that's mainland of Panama. Today we're actually gonna be able to leave the boat which is nice. We're gonna be visiting our first islands and swimming and all these fun things. Comment and like and uh, say below your favorite part of the video. It's really long. To be fair, Day two of the San Blas Island expedition. We're finally here. And wait, I'll just. Wow, it's a good camera. It's a good camera. And I'll just show you the islands if you want. You could be spread again. On San Blas there's a total of 365 islands, so if you wanted you could visit a new island each day of the year. From these islands only 49 are inhabited by the native people living on the San Blas islands known as the Kuna Indians. After lunch I've now just been chilling on the boat to be honest. I watched some series and I also went for a dip but just here by the boat and most of the people are on the island. I just kind of felt like I needed some time to just take it easy.
morning, it is now the next day and we have come to another island and we'll be spending the full day here. We're just waiting for the little speedboat to come and get us because yeah, everyone can't fit on it at the same time. Are you excited, Vincent? I'm very excited and we're gonna snorkel and see some great fish today. Are you excited, Sasha? So excited to go <laughs> swimming. We have just arrived to an island where we're going to be spending the whole day and oh my goodness it is so beautiful and apparently there's a lot of coral reefs and you can play volleyball here and in the evening we're gonna have a bonfire yeah i'm super excited this is pure paradise for sure it's so beautiful can't wait to show it to you guys and to see it myself as well i'm gonna go now to the other side of the island where everyone else is <sighs> we're in paradise might be wondering what does such a sailing trip cost? The price depends on very much with who and what kind of boat you book. Ours was the more affordable option and costed us 645 US dollars per person. If you want something more luxurious though, be prepared to pay more. Additionally, we had to pay a 20 US dollar fee to the local indigenous community for entering San Blas. We booked our trip with a company called Ave Maria Sailing, but I know a lot of people on our boat also booked with blue sailing so there are different options available <laughs> It is now evening time, as you can probably guess from how dark it is. But we have come back to the island where we spent the whole day basically. And now we're gonna have a bonfire here and spend the evening here a bit. And I also saw some bags of marshmallows and stuff. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this whole thing but let's have a taste so strong blah blah not my favorite
now arrived to what is called the immigration island. So this is where we're going to be like officially stamped into Panama. Today is also our last full day of this tour, which is a bit sad, but at the same time, I'm a little bit also looking forward to sleeping in a proper bed again and to wash my hair, because if I haven't showed you guys, how we shower is by using this thing here and we just use a bucket with water it's not really possible to shampoo and if you use soap you have to like jump in the sea and wash it off in the sea and yeah, we haven't like actually showered in days so yeah looking forward to those things but today I'm still gonna fully enjoy the beautiful San Blas islands oh my god the dogs just jumped in the water <laughs> fans <laughs> We have now sadly come to the last island of our San Blas Adventures tour. Yeah, it's been a really, really nice tour so far. I've really enjoyed it. Let's enjoy this beautiful, beautiful island now while we still can, because I already know I'm gonna be looking back at this video and these moments and be like, oh, take me back, take me back, please. So grateful that I've been able to experience this all. Wow, this water is so hot. Oh, it's actually burning my skin. It's so hot. morning it is today our last morning here on this boat we're still about to have some breakfast soon and everyone's packing up their stuff and yeah we have reached the mainland of Panama we have some shuttles that have been um, organized for us that will take us straight to our accommodations in Panama City and yeah we're soon about to have our last breakfast and yeah I remember in the beginning of this trip I thought wow five nights is so long but in the end it ended up going so fast
so weird to put on shoes for the first no. time after five days. What a weird sensation. <laughs> Goodbye, wild card. You were a nice home for five days, but now the journey continues. We have now arrived to Panama City and where the boat left us we still took a shuttle bus from there to Panama City. It costed an extra $25 but it took you straight to your hotel or hostel or whatever so that was very very handy and it took about two, two and a half hours. It feels really weird not to be on a boat anymore. I feel a bit wonky like when I stand for a longer time I feel almost a bit dizzy like it feels like I would still be on a boat even if I'm not. I took a shower and I washed my hair which feels so nice my hair especially yesterday felt so gross so it felt so nice to wash off all the sunscreen and the salt water and the insect repellent and all of that tonight we're still gonna go out for dinner with everyone here in Panama City it's just something we're like organizing ourselves so we didn't need to say goodbye to anyone yet so that's really really nice but yeah I probably won't be talking to this vlog anymore I'm still gonna add the clips from this evening and the dinner but I'm already now I'm gonna thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey and uh yeah now still let's roll the clips from tonight <laughs>